John Young from Players TV here at the World Poker Tour uh, London, final day. Um, here with one of WPT Magazine's big tips for the year, and uh, proof completely correct, of course, because we tipped it. Uh, James Mitchell. James, how are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. Um, you decided not to play the WPT London. Do you want to explain a little bit about how you uh, came not to play in it? I probably shouldn't talk about it too much, but <laughs> I had a bit of a disagreement with the doorman and ended up not getting let in, so there you go. Um, but I'm here to realm Jake's in the final, so hoping he does well. Yeah, Jake Cody, another another big tip. Uh, let's hope he does well. So what is it with the young Brits? Obviously, the uh, last time I saw you was Irish Open, just taking that down. Uh, what is going on with the young Brits this year? They're just like killing everything. I guess it's pretty easy for young guys that are British because like, we don't need to worry about anything apart from playing poker. There's no tax or anything. Just, yeah. I know everyone's really good these days too, so... I don't know, I can't give a specific reason why everyone's so good, but I don't know. I think like a few people got re really good last year and then everyone caught up with them. And so like now there's like a group of us who are like top players. Um, last time, or when I first knew you, you were playing 20 quid pub games and that was only a few years ago. And now you're mixing it up with the pros. Uh, what is it specifically about your game that's kind of moved on the last few years? And now you can kind of quite confidently go into a WSOP event and you know, quite be quite confident about sort of cashing. You know, what's happening to your game, do you think? Um, it's probably just because I got addicted to poker and play like every single day <laughs> for like four, four or five years. That's pretty much the reason. <laughs> How much uh, camaraderie is it with the, with the young Brits? You know, do you kind of get together and you talk through hands and do you kind of travel together, stay in the same hotels? Yeah, there's a lot of camaraderie, but there's also a lot of competitiveness as well, which is quite good. Uh, yeah, we do, we do travel with each other. But um, at the same time, like we're all trying to outdo each other and get better results. Like, I've got bets. Like I'm hoping Jake wins, but I've bet him that I'm gonna have more European ranking points by the end of the year than him. And I'm in the lead at the moment. But if he gets a result here, I'm sure he will be in the lead. So stuff like that. St we stay pretty competitive. So. Yeah, and obviously we've just had EPT Villamora with uh, Sam Trickett, Toby Lewis, who obviously yeah. you know, uh, Teddy Sheringham. I mean, w hopefully WSOP carries on that uh, tr uh, trend. What are you going to be playing uh, this September? Um, well, on Monday, I'm playing the uh, Party Poker World Poker Open. Um, I'm playing, yeah, I'm in my heat, 6 o'clock on Monday. And then a few days later, I'm playing the English Poker Open, which is also at Palm Beach here. And then... Uh, the World Series Europe, then two and a half K six max. I can't make the five K Omaha, which is a bit annoying because that'd be a good event for me. And uh, be playing the one K and the main event. I think I'll probably skip the heads up just because I'll probably be broke by it <laughs> by then. And uh, yeah, EPT main. Maybe I'll fit in some side events somewhere. But that's the plan. Excellent. And uh, I saw you with a little full tilt patch on during the World Series. Does that mean you're kind of fully with those guys, or no, is that no, just... So I just? I was qualified on their site, and uh, if I won, I would have won 10 million extra. That's the reason I was wearing it. <laughs> but no, not signing any deals or anything. Excellent. And um, just quickly about WPTs, you know, people have been. Um, Joe Beavers was very kind of vocal about stretching it out to sort of six days. Do you think? The fact that we've got one in London finally has been sort of tempered by the fact that it's been stretched out so long and also by the fact that you can buy in until sort of day three and you were talking earlier about sort of strategy of sort of buying in late but uh, how does that affect sort of tournaments and how players think? Well I guess with the buying in, buy in late strategy you can take advantage of it by just waiting around the tournament looking for when there's a, an empty seat on a table with like players you consider softer like I, my plan was to come here on day two and look around the table and if like look around the tables and if the only empty seat is uh, on Ivy's right I'm obviously not going to buy in but just way around and yeah you can definitely end up with a good table draw and table draw is like one of the most important things in tournament poker so but I think and also this WPT London didn't get that many runners as well so you can get a pretty big edge from being able to get a good table uh, it's pretty, I don't know uh, who organised it, but I don't know why there was three major European tournaments all in the, in the same week but in different countries. Maybe that's just the nature of live poker these days, there's just never a free week. Not really though. <laughs> like the week before there was nothing and then a week later they want to have three big tournaments. Yeah, maybe they were hoping for Ivy to and Seidel to stay on for the rest of the tournaments during the month, you know. But uh, yeah, push and then you've got the World Open next week, so obviously the Americans are coming out for that. Yeah, I mean... 
now everyone's going to be in London, but I'm pretty like almost everyone went to Cannes because they had a million guaranteed first prize and three million guaranteed prize pool. So, and this didn't have any guarantee or anything. So it was hard, always going to be hard for this event to do well. Yeah, even if it is in London. Yeah. Uh, well, listen. Good luck with the uh, World Open and WSOPE, and uh, maybe WPT Magazine will come and visit you again at the end of the year. All right. Cheers. Maybe a cover shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Cheers.